when we are programming, sometimes we have to deal with the problem to exchange one date information, one date data from one layer to another. For instance, sometimes we have one date field in the background programming language and you have to send that to the front-end programming and then some conversions are necessary because how to represent um, date when we are exchanging data. It's a string, it's a number. Sometimes it's difficult to make it sparsing. So one way to make that easier is to represent the date in the Unix time stamp format, which basically represents any date as a numeric field representing the milliseconds number of this date since 1970. So uh, let's see here how we can use this Unix timestamp function from MySQL to convert this data time field to a number and then how on the client programming language we can convert that from one date object and then can perform the operations on that. So here it's one message table, one table very, very simple, and it has one column that is from the date time type. Once it's from that type, uh, we can perform several operations on that. And there is one function, native function from MySQL, that's the Unix timestamp. Actually, it's not a red read to use because it returns the timestamp based on seconds, not on milliseconds. So for having that on milliseconds, we have to multiply by a thousand. And this way, we are going to have the same information, the same date as milliseconds representation. So executing this code now, we have this output, the date column starts to be displayed as a numeric value. Now let's consume that from the front end programming. Here um, we have one code on node programming language that make the connection in the database and then it runs the same carry we have just executed using the MySQL workbank. Once executing that, the when column that represents actually one numeric field, we take that and use as a constructor to the date object from the JavaScript. And it's very useful because almost every programming language, its native date data type has a constructor based in a milliseconds parameter. So the same thing we are doing here with Node, we could do with Java, could do with almost any other programming language. So uh, we are going to use the when number to one parameter for the constructor of the date object. And then we are going to present the original timestamp in the JavaScript date object, showing that the conversion has happened as expected. So now let's execute this code. Okay, you have to stop the current one put that above, let's run that. So here it is, for each record of our table, we have as the first column, its information, uh, original information as it was here in the database. And the second output is it as a date object being already converted, being created using this information as input. So the um, Advantages for this technique is that we avoid parsing, textual parsing of information to reconstruct the data, the, the date object in the another programming language. So it's just a number is to reconstruct this date independently of the client of this information. So here it is one example to make easier the date exchange between layers of our programming and the code we demonstrated here is available below on to be downloaded from GitHub. Thanks for watching.